If you watched my video from a couple days ago on these VW cranks, uh, which I have now deleted since uh, it was incorrect, uh, you test these cranks to see what they're made out of, whether they're a cast crank or a forge crank by tapping them with a hammer and listening to the sound. They should ring like a bell. And I was questioning my stock four-cylinder crank because it didn't ring, and I was also questioning another half VW crank that I had got in because it didn't ring either, and several guys mentioned that it was probably because I still had the gear and stuff on it, and they were absolutely right. I press everything off, and everything sounds right now. And it's amazing how small an amount of material it does, it takes to, uh, to damp that ring. So let, let me show you. Okay, here's the three cranks. This is my one for 94 millimeter that I got from Scott Kassler. Here is my stock crank that came in that engine behind it. Now it's still got a little bit more of a thud, but it still has a ring to it. Yeah, depending on where you tap it, it's got a nice ring. And then this half VW crank here for 88 millimeter pistons. It's got some ring to it. Now all it takes to screw that ring up is just drop that bearing on there. So definitely make sure the crank is completely naked before you whack it with a hammer. Otherwise you won't get a true sound when you tap it. Yeah, that one's still, <laughs> depending on where and how. But I'm satisfied that it's a good crank. So I've got my new one for the 94 millimeter engine back there. I've got a stock one that I could cut down and build for anything. And then I've got one for 88 so I can make a 28 horse. So I think I'll put these two, grease them all up good, put them in a box, save them for later. Now that I've got the big crank mystery solved, thanks to you guys. I'm ready to get back to building. Till next time, thanks for watching.